Hello again, everyone. It is the Black Knight, and apparently we're gonna shoot stuff. What's... Well, that was kind of cool. It was totally unnecessary. You could just walk around it. They're all over me. Dog meat found an enemy. Um... We will kill you if we have to. Just leave. Where are the bad guys? I hear guns. I don't even have anything on my radar. The people here cower constantly. It's kind of a... They're running around. I don't even know if there's anything bad going on. Is this a drill? Oh, well. We got robot in play here. Two robots in play. Big Dave Laser, hey! Big Dave Laser is one of my faves. I ain't letting you get me. Guys, if you just show me where everything is. I mean, I've got the explosive gun thing going here. A raider veteran? Alright, wait a minute. Where is this raider, so-called raider veteran? I mean, I'm happy to let, you know, the Brotherhood... Look at the gun glowing and all that. I mean, I took, like, what, three shots? He has electromagnetic rounds on him. That's nice. This is a complete distraction, by the way. What the heck happened to the... There's blood here. Where is the... The bad guy? You want to loot the bad guy. Oh, there he is. I walked right over him. He had some nice crap on him. Alright, I guess maybe he'll stay there from now on. That wouldn't be a bad thing. Because they're freaking everybody out here at the railroad settlement, you know. But as I was going to say, this is one of my more neglected settlements. I haven't really done anything big and wild and crazy Good here. Exactly I've thrown up a few right. guns around just to keep, you know, so it had enough defense. Um some guns nothing more can be built yeah but i mean that's we know that doesn't really matter there's only nine beds there's eight people food six water six defense 96 that's not all you guys know that's not a lot in my book that's the bare minimum and there are a lot of problems to building here i mean it's not a real convenient site there's a lot of structure in play already uh, let's see. I don't have my my jumpsuit on, do I? No. Don't even. I'm not in armor. But well, you know, it's it's got a nice view, I guess, if, for for post apocalyptia. But I mean, you know, there's there's it's going to be a little little tricky to get my you know classic. I guess we could get some scaffolding, go up to the top here, and then build straight up next to the next to the monument. That might not be a bad plan. First things first, though. Apparently, if you know when you go to the workshop for the first time over here, I've been here once before. I know what I'm looking for. When you go to transfer, when you go to uh, the miscellaneous here, there's a lot of bottle caps, which you can take. Now I'll take those. I'll take that. Um, I don't know if this is just self-generating junk or not. If I have a, uh, if I have a, what you call it, a, a scrapping station up somewhere, but we can come and get that later. It's it's usable where it is. I'm wondering if I assign these cowering, fearful people to uh, who still think that the battle for the rail with the railroad and the and the institute is going on. Apparently, if I could get them assigned to uh, to some shops, maybe they'll stop cowering. It'll reset something. So we're gonna try that. There's going to be quite the time warp here as I work on this. Uh, in this video, I'm just, I'm going to, this is going to be my long-term project. I'm just starting out here. We're showing it around. Where, where it's at right now is just, it has enough guns. Some normal people. Do, 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 do. And it's really, um, very ramshackle, you know? It's, it's more what you'd expect of a, of a post-apocalyptic settlement than the, the Escher-esque stuff that I built, but 
We're we're gonna mess with it. No question about it. We're gonna mess with it. Where did they get all this really great scaffolding from? I don't know. That's was it here when the war started? Because they were doing refurbishment. That makes sense. Okay, so I've gone to the top of of the Bunker Hill Monument, and apparently that's outside the building area. So you can't you can't mess with that. Just too bad because that is a great view. Be nice to have something you could build out here, kind of a terrace. Probably not going to happen. Wait, what is down on the street there? One of my robots. One of my supply lines. Doop de doop de doo. All right. Good luck with all that. Okay, just for the uninitiated, um, I'm just going to show you one more time. I show this in a lot of videos. As you can see, the size in yellow in the upper right there. Nothing more can be built. Okay, and in my inventory, taken actually from the uh, my red rocket uh, location here, I have a bunch of weapons. And what I'm going to do is hit the R button and drop them. I picked the really long name ones. They're supposed to be more effective. I'm not going to drop, if I can avoid it, I'm not going to drop the weapons I usually use. Blah. Now, watch the yellow bar as the magic happens. Okay, tab, store. Store that in the workbench, store that in the workbench. As it removes weapons, it thinks I'm re taking stuff away from the settlement, as if I was just deconstructing the settlement. And that's the trick you can use to basically get larger and larger settlements till uh, the game starts to freak out. And it uh, exceeds the performance parameters that anyone ever expected it to be. And that's where the fun happens, you know? Get huge save files and stuff, I'll bet. But, uh, so there's probably some downsides to doing this, but... It's... The thing I mostly enjoy in this game is making ridiculously large and physically impossible settlements. It's what I do. You know, everybody's got to have a hobby. Why can't this be mine? I mean, you know, really. As you can see, we're already down to like a third of the, uh, the entire size here. I don't think I don't think Bunker Hill has really got a lot of size to work with. So I'll probably have to do this multiple times. But it's not too bad. I mean, we're only down to half, and we're through most of the weapons here. So. Maybe that will take a while. Now, left alone, supposedly, these guys would be going to be able to get these weapons and arm themselves if they so choose when under attack. We can, we can do that to the... Cinder block is not... Oh, you just scrap the cinder block. Okay. There we go. Neaten up things as we go. Don't worry, we'll have lots of concrete here. I actually don't need any of that. That's just messy. See, that's all much better. But we can't do anything with the bent finger there. Alright, that's all the weapons. But you can see, now we have some room to work. Now, let me get to work. Okay, I'm going to have to play with this placement a little bit. We'll believe you're not clicking. It's just... There we go. I'm not probably supposed to be able to do that, but we'll take it. Alright, those got buried a little bit, but I'm okay with that. We'll take these. There's some steps here that don't quite work. You see, unless we can get that to do the same thing. Drive it into the ground kind of thing. Can we do that? Yes! Not in the way. Multiple ways up. And then they'll fall right in the hole. So since we can't really extend the whatchamacallits there, we'll take these down.
as you can see, we've, uh... Railroad heavy. Wait a minute, why would a railroad heavy be hostile to me? This concerns me. Why would... Why would... Why would my defenses... As you can see, I've done some upgrades. Why would a, why would a railroad heavy get attacked? I understand it would shoot at these guys. Okay, before we we do the tour here, there's a couple things I want to fix first of all because, as you know, there's some glitches involved with this. Like these people are still cowering as if the battle's still going on. But these guys are hanging out as if the battle is still going on. I, I don't know if that's... I mean, I'm glad to loot any kind of real, any kind of anything in this game, but that, I'm a little concerned that I'm now hostile with the railroad. That would be bad. I haven't done anything to be hostile with the railroad. Now, let's, let's look at one other thing that I want to see if it changes when I do the fix that I'm going to do, which I will share with you. Where is that path? into the downstairs. Not here. The secret doorway. Come on. I didn't build over it. Come on. See, this person's fine, and that person's terrified. We have to work on this. Okay, here it is. It's inside. I just have done a few minor upgrades here, too, but go to the utility basement. There may still be some synths down here, which I want to see if they still are. Now, there's a glitch that's involved with the whole Bunker Hill thing, is that if you side with the Minutemen and the Railroad, and you defy Father, then it fails the mission on you, and it never closes it, because the mission was go get the synths. The synthetic beings. And for the longest time, they would just hang out down here. I'm trying to see where they were. You couldn't make them do anything. Let's see, which way was it? All the way. Huh? Hello. Oh, good. You're not shooting at me. Hey. Huh? That's good. That's a good thing. So I'm not hostile with the railroad. Just somehow. Railroad heavies. Go in through down here and down through here and in through around and around. Oh, here we go. Yes, all these guys are still anxiously hoping to get out of here in panic mode because they think they're trapped. Now, there's supposed to be, because I'm on PC, a command. Stop quest EF21C. And let's leave that. I don't know if that did anything. We're supposed yeah. to do something. And let's see here now. Because what that's supposed to do is actually end the quest, which I don't know if you see anything from that, but it's supposed to eventually straighten stuff out. We got a really long loading screen, so I wonder if that matters. Maybe you can't do it from the utility base and you have to do it from the, the open world. Okay, well, this person is moved. City one of these days. It's still Biggest coward. Town I ever saw. Let's let's do this again. Let's go somewhere else and do it. Some place where we're completely out of the cell. Okay, here we are in sanctuary. Now we'll try it from here. Stop. You have to do two words. Stop quest. E F. Two one C. Is that? No, okay, stop quest is a command. Two ones. EF21C is definitely. Okay, well, um. That was what it said would work. Of course, the internet uh, would never lie to you. Well, I mean, it'd be nice if we had some kind of positive feedback that that had done something, but according to Reddit, if I go back now, life will be normal. So, let's see. Fast travel. 
The skittle sees going, nah! But, you know, it's... Here, shoot me in the chest, why don't you? Blah! Even with all that, that's probably not a good idea. What good did the chains around your leg do? I mean, I don't know. It's, I'll wrap my thighs in barbed wire. So I love things sticking into my scrotum. Yeah, that's just not a good... This isn't a good outfit. Okay, so... Well, the first thing I see is there's no Brotherhood of Steel hanging out here. So that's encouraging. Let's take a look here. Let's roll back up. Do, 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 do. Okay, let's see. We'll go over here. And son of a gun! Everyone has pulled themselves together! There's nobody, nobody slinking around! Huzzah! Now this is interesting. What's this? Yeah, I'm only here. Here. I'm trying to target something. Join the railroad. Wake like they would just keep that laying around. Since they're not your enemy, they are victims in this war as well. True, they were created by the Institute, but they were created as slaves. Thinking, feeling, and dreaming beings, utterly oppressed by their tyrannical masters. So join with us in fighting the real enemy, the Institute. Join the railroad. When you're ready for that next step, don't worry. We'll find you. That's an interesting, uh, interesting approach, you know. Think about it. As if they know your thoughts. In which case, they'd be creepier than the Institute. Well, the railroad heavies are still here down in the utility basement, but I guess that's, that's reasonably normal. Let's see what goes on. Nope. The sins are still here all in agony. Hi. Can't seem to talk to them. Well... Excuse me. At least one of them snapped out of something. No, it's still pensive. It's like, and you can't seem to tell them that it's all okay. Bye. Yeah. Oh, Bethesda. Still, you know, there's a teachable point here. These synths, their, their problems are solved. The Institute's destroyed. They have nothing to be afraid of. And look at them. Oh, oh, it's like, they think they're acting like death is right around the corner, and, and they won't listen to you. Hey there. It's okay. <clears throat> Excuse How me. many people do we know like that? Where there are situations where, you know, if they would just listen, they wouldn't have to be anxious. You just tell them it's all okay. I mean, I'm not going for a specific thing here. I'm saying that there's a lot of times where we continue to be worried about stuff long after. It's it's really fine. So, next time you know somebody who's like, let's say, don't be like the synths in the basement. And they won't know what you're talking about, but, you know, maybe someday they'll get through to them. Anybody else have trouble saying synths? It's just like synth. It's a com I'm completely lisping out on that. It's not, you know. Huh? Synths. There you go. It's synths. And you know, the, the Slovaks, which is part of my heritage, they don't even have a th sound in, in their whole language. That's not something they have. That's why the town next to where I live is called Troop, even though it's spelled Throop. Okay, now that we've hopefully gotten all of that straightened out, uh, let's take a quick tour of Bunker Hill here, and I'm, I'm hoping it works, because I've already kind of lost all of my recording once in this. Uh, there is a glitch that I'm sure has nothing to do with the fact that I've rebuilt this settlement. Uh, sediment? Rebuilt this settlement about ten times over, uh, the, over the size limit. It's, uh, it's been, it's bigger than it should be. Let's put that. You shouldn't be able to do this, but you're able to do this, except for the fact that periodically the game just dumps to desktop here. And I don't know if that's a Bunker Hill thing or a, uh, a crazed settlement thing, but, uh, we, we, here's what we have, and we'll, we'll just, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to periodically stop wrap so I don't lose the recording here and then restart it. And luckily we have the key set up. That, that's as a quick save, too, so... 
At any rate, this is over here. Where is... Man, I lost it. Did I lose my... Uh, yeah, maybe I lost my fast travel point in a... Um, in one of the crashes. So I'll have to put that back at some point. But what we have here is we can... We can take a walk around the different levels. Let's do it that way. Ground floor... We've added in some stores, because there's so much traffic around here, you can make a lot of money. Added a bar. You'll notice that all the other Not vendors are... So don't bother. All the other vendors are back where they're supposed to be now that they're no longer cowering in a corner. Thank you, Reddit, for that so one. So you want that tour or not? Ten caps. Um, how about no? I just rebuilt the whole thing. I know my way around. For right now, you know? Okay, we got some store. We got one of every store. They should all be making lots of caps. Not much through here. I kind of like this, this van. Yeah, that's like one of those things where you should really just fix that up at some point. It's really a lot of potential here, you know? A lot of potential. Come around through here. Again, vendors are back, you know, scrubbing down their, their bars. We've added some security. A little security. There's some security around here. There's only really a couple approaches to... Uh, to the place. This is the main one. And as you can imagine, there's an awful lot of rockets and lasers that come down. I think I tried to put the lasers near the trees so they wouldn't blow up the trees. and, Or at least, you know, the, the shot would have a better chance of getting through without being, you know, detonated early. And we can we can take a look around. We can take a look around the, the perimeter if you want. You can take a look at all the guns from that point of view. That's interesting. These guys are still down here. There's still a Brotherhood patrol. I thought we'd gotten rid of those sure, guys. I like the idea of Minutemen having so much firepower. Well, we have it. So they've at least moved out of the uh, out of the Bunker Hill proper. Whoa! Ah! Do you think? the bits falling out of the sky. That is kind of how I, I measure my defenses. How much hang time do the bad guys get? That was a good good five seconds. What was that? Well, there's a Brotherhood of Night Sergeant who looks like he's lost some bits. Been the Brotherhood dealing the final blow to the Institute. Not the Minutemen. Suck it up, sweetheart. Then you shouldn't have sucked. Okay, fusion cell, some synthy kind of stuff. That's good. Synth patrollers. That's, that was, I guess, where he landed. And there was another glitch. It just blew up on me again. Uh, okay, let's let's let's. Okay, let's yeah, let's go this way. That glitched out on me again. The instant I tried to go more to the left there. So there's something there. Let's uh let's continue on. Okay, we're back here to the front. Let's let's go up to the next level and hope hopefully we'll be able to uh see some of what the well really most of the heavy building is going on. As you can see I've built on basically on top of this part of Bunker Hill. And up here we have all the basic kind of necessities of life. We used to make the odd cap back in the day by gathering marler heads by the beach. Bullshit. No, it's good money if you're quick enough or good with a gun. And he was both. But he stopped doing it for good the day he saw old Peg. With his own two eyes. Old Peg? Is that supposed to mean something? You don't know of old Peg? You've covered enough miles to know firsthand that radiation rabbit is all in the Ask any 
Yeah. So you want that tour or not? No Ten caps. Something ancient and terrifying haunts the city. Oh, that's where I was really saying. Got a problem? <clears throat> you got a problem? No, I wanted to hear about the ghoul whale. That was distracting. I've never, you know. Some of the stuff they've programmed in is really cool. I mean, when, what are the odds you hear that caravan worker talking? Okay, so we got more guns up here. All kinds of crafty stuff here. Bunker Hill bunks! That means upstairs and inside. We'll go the upstairs first. It's a little more plain. And there's a few. there are fewer sight lines, so I'm hoping it, it doesn't blow up on me. I don't see what I'm not supposed to see. As you can see, I just tried to make it pleasant. Keep some air flowing. And this is chock full of both really nice beds and, you know, the, the sleeping bags just for, you know, just, I have enough. I have, I think, 42 beds set up here. Don't have to worry about uh, getting more beds than that, really. There's always going to be more than enough. It's a comfy place. I'm telling you, there's no such thing as junk. You know how to fix something up? Anything's valuable. There's... Right? Yeah. Okay, I now... Up scopes out of Nuka -Cola get a landmines from lunch boxes. Heck, I even made armor out of paper clips once. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, now you're feeding me bull, Deb. You can't make armor out of paper clips. Well, no, you can't. But you sure as hell can stitch together metal plates with them. Why is why? Why is why? I have a lot of trouble in this room. I had a lot of trouble making this room. Yeah, I just try to decorate it kind of nice. This has got more of a sitting area. <sighs> or some might call it a glitching area. This is starting to turn into work, folks. Yoy. Okay, let's see where we ended up. Okay, why am I back in Sanctuary? It didn't save... Anything? It's... it's uh... Well, I didn't do anything there, I don't think. Well, we, we might have saved some... Uh... No, we've gotten a couple synth pieces. <sighs> All right. Let's keep... Was this take five? No, I don't want to tour. You should hang out with Preston. Okay, let's skip the... Inside. You saw it was nice. There's stuff on the desk and things. and Let's go around here. You see, we have significant lines of attack here. Anything spawns out here or wanders into range, it goes baboof. Full power system. You can see we've got lights all around the outside so it's not creepy and spooky at night. Oh, it's just, there you go. Whee! Is that one of my robots out there? No, it's, um, well, let's see. There is a caravan, but that's, it looks like a, uh, a really bored, uh, Brotherhood of Steel. Okay, I'll collect that stuff later. Maybe. There goes the dog! I got, oh, I got a couple caravans coming in. Bunch of caravans coming in. Heavily armed caravans coming in. All right, that that's good. That's. And you can see they're very well covered. Don't even. <sighs> it keeps doing that. I don't know how. I don't know if we're gonna get to some of these areas just because. You know, if I look at them, they go boof. I guarantee you, it doesn't always do this. I mean, I actually turned off my anti-aliasing and stuff to try and get some of this to go away, but it's. Uh, this is an uphill battle, and I don't know what the, what the trigger is. It doesn't seem like it's always the same thing. I don't know. That's an awkward piece of leather just covering his butt. That's just weird. Okay, let's try this again. Take, what, seven? I don't even know. No, I don't want to tour. Back on up. Let's see. How can we approach it this time? Let's just go around this way. Bypass all of that. Okay, you see we have some more uh, some more crafting stuff. Decontamination arts. We've got power. I'm going to hide behind the power here. Um, you've got uh, at least yeah two sets of dumbbells. And you can see they're all haunted in this game. They all lift their own weights. Got a couple, uh, a couple of the uh, pommel horses over there as well. Trying to boost the happiness. You know, happiness. 
Got a vault tech controller here, so that's makes you know managing the uh, the people's a whole lot easier, assigning tasks and you know, etc. etc. Quick save there, okay. Again, we got lots of firepower. Those uh, those Brotherhood of Steel get antsy; they're gonna get rocketed. You can see down into everything from up here. Let's see if we could go up. I'm, I'm almost thinking of like, don't even turn that way. Don't even turn that way. Don't look that way. To the right. A nice view. Let's see if we can get the better view. This this just isn't funny anymore. I wonder if it has something to do with fraps. I'm going to try and get to the upper level without recording it. Maybe that will trip out less. You know, just trip out a little bit less. That'd be that would be great. Nope, that didn't seem to matter. Glitched out immediately. Let's back up. Swing. Back up all the way around. Don't look in the rooms. Don't fall off. Don't look there. Back our way around. We came through this way. We're okay here. There go those synths again. Whee! I don't even know if I'm going to find him. Now we have to get dangerous here. Go up. Go around. Okay. Quick save to there. Okay. We made it to the roof. You can see we have... Uh, I do have these set up. I don't have anyone manning them yet. We get some more peoples. Here, peoples. We get some more people. Normally I would edit that out, but we're just going to run with it. I don't know how much I'm going to get here. Again, a little more soda more power we've got street lights i would show you this all at night but i don't know if i'm going to get a chance we could take a nap and then come back um this is where we've got all the crops set up and a number of people working them uh, all in all i think i set up three uh three artillery points which is what my usual is you can't build uh, above this. If I were to be in the build mode and just jump like that, it would take me out of build mode. This is exactly as high as you can go. So you can't really do anything to uh, obstruct the view of the Bunker Hill Monument. Great view from up here for fuel last. I mean, you can see the Pridwin over here. Uh, Old Ironsides is still over there, although it'll probably be over there somewhere once I get through that mission. I'm planning on doing that, and I plan on siding with the robots. Nice view of everything, really... Amazing the detail they put into this game. I would imagine if uh, if you lived in this part of Boston, you might find this kind of freaky. Yeah, that's that's something I would think. It'd be a little bit freaky. Let's see if we can go around here. Excuse me. Huh? Huh? Yeah, there's the third gun. And let's see. Save out again. Just, you know, keep working the video. And there you have it for the most part, folks. We've got, you know... I never really do use the iPod thing very often, but it's there. We can we can build up robots if we want to, although I don't really plan to. Because that would uh, reduce happiness levels. Yes. Yes, it would. It would reduce happiness levels. Let's, let's go down a floor. And let me show you what this place looks like at night if I can. Okay? If I... If. Big if. Big, 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 whopping. Okay. I feel real rested, but it's nighttime. Now look, the, the lighting is particularly effective here. Hey, Dad. What's good today? And you can see it's pretty nice up here. It's like, you know, you're... You got all the lighting of, of the Bunker Hill Monument. You got the lighting just around the edges here. Got a nice kind of view of the town. But you don't have to worry if you have to be up here about being in the dark over much. Okay, we're going to go into the danger zone here. Highway to the danger zone. You can see we got... All right, look. I realize this is probably a self-inflicted wound. And that, you know, my continual expansion of the size of the settlement is probably causing this glitch. Although I'm not sure of that. It could just be a Bunker Hill 
area glitch that if you're up that high and you look in a certain direction, because you're never meant to be up that high unless you're looking, I guess, from Dunker Hill itself, and if you don't have an angle from the from the monument, then you wouldn't go in this direction. So it may not be it to do, because I haven't had this particular glitch, I don't think, anywhere else. Let's see, can we just run? Can we just run and fall? And just strike to the ground and then just run out of here? You get a quick look up. You can, see, you can see how nice the lights look at night a little bit, but don't glance too far in that direction. Run! It's not a bad look. It's not a bad look at night. It really isn't. The areas here, they're well lit for the most part. You can walk around. Everybody seems like... You know, and there's a good amount of built-in lighting anyway. Big Dave Laser! By the way, that's a reference to the Muppets. You have to look look that up. Hey, I'll tell you that. There's, there's an episode of The Muppet Show where uh, the news guy is saying, you know, there's some magic words. If you said something, it would make a... Uh, an alligator appear and, and eat you, and it was Rizal Evad Gib. And just out of uh, just out of curiosity, I, I tried to figure out what would that would be backwards, and I came up with Big Dave Laser. And it turns out that Dave Laser was actually one of the guys who was a producer who worked on. He was somewhere I forget where he was in the credits, but he's in the credits. He's the real person that worked on the Muppet Show. They're they're, they're funny people. They actually worked as. Uh, Worked his name in there, and they called him Big Dave, which I that that's called. I wonder if that's what he really was called. And let's see, where is all of our little shops? I'm just here between jobs. Sweetheart, you're it's post-apocalyptic Boston. Everything is between jobs from here on out. Oh dear, where is my shops? I'm, I did a lap around everything here. Did I walk past? We get we had some cow thingies here because there were cows roaming through everything. Running around. I'm just, I'm not even looking. I'm just running around hoping nothing goes away. Okay, there's that. Here is the shop area. And this is, there's some lighting over here near the shops that helps, you know. But it's bright enough with the lighting that was built into everything. It's got some good things going. Everyone's going to bed. Let's slip on out the back door. Let's see. Can we, can we find those? Do I even really care about a little bit of synth armor? If I go in that direction, there's a good chance it'll barf on me. Let's see. Let's let's find a good angle. Go around the front. Identity confirmed. Lightning Larry. Oh, here we go. Synth patroller. The other guy went in the ocean, I think. You went. You went way, way, way. Well, you know, Larry, I'd, I'd like to pick you up here and, uh, and fix you up. I think we'll do that another time because I don't know if I can get back to the top over here. Is that a head? That's the head of the synth patroller. Same Oh, wait, is this another one or is that the one I just ravaged? Yes. There were two of them. I don't know where the other one went. Did it land on the ground where it's now? I think it went in the water. I think we blew them all the way into the water. Identity confirmed. I know, Larry. You lost all your stuff. Hello. Never expected the Minutemen would be capable of taking out the Institute. Don't enter, don't underestimate us, or Inder Eastumudas, or anything else like that. No, we're the Minutemen, and I'm the general. Well, we're just running away from glitches at this point. We're just, you know, can can we look at it from afar at least? It is a, sun, a shining, you know, thing here. That's the... That's... That's... Kind of cool. But I'm happy with the build. I, you can say, well, gee, how could you be happy with the build when you really can't ever go there again? Um... Well, that's not really the point. The point is... Ooh, who's this? Major, Major? Well, oh, that's good. Here we go. 
That looks cool. I'm sorry. Even if it, uh, even if it is a glitchy experience. And if, even if the artillery doesn't really work. I don't really call in artillery very often. Not when I've got an explosive shotgun. But I mean, that looks cool. And it's going to make a lot of caps. That's going to be cap central for me. And I should be able to get to the workshop without, you know, having any kind of issues. I hope. I pray. So let's see. Shall we try and go around? Let's try and go around here. They call me the Wanderer. The Lone Wanderer. Okay, that's enough of that. That's interesting. If you go that far away, now you don't even get to see any of it. That's just what it looks like without all my, my additions, all my constructions, all my wonderfulness there. It's still a very pretty sight, but no, you can't. That's too far away now. You can't get that angle on it. Let's see if we can see when it comes in. Let me see, maybe when we get back on the other side of these buildings? There you can see it! It's like magic, isn't it? Now you see it, now you don't. Which is what's been happening with this glitch. It's just like, now I'm here and then I'm not. A little bit frustrating, I'm going to be telling you. But, in the end result, I, I got what I wanted. This is how I, I imagined it to be. We're not going to look there. And I'm really happy with it. And on this note, on this note with the starry skies and all the lights and all the prettiness of the Bunker Hill settlement. Really? Really? <sighs> on this note, this is the Black Knight. Have a great night. Where the heck is Sturgis? You got to be kidding me. Are you serious? Huh, the, the, my last little code here. The reason I said it would make a lot of caps, I didn't get a chance to really explain that, is that it makes a lot of money from just the caravans coming through. That's a natural thing of, of, of Bunker Hill because it's a, a center for caravans. And now that I've added businesses to it, it should should do very well for itself. Hopefully the, the money making from the, from the different shops doesn't override the money we'd normally make from the caravans and make less. But that would be a glitch in my book and what are the odds of a glitch?